Every year, more than 11,000 women in the United States are diagnosed with cervical cancer. 4,000 will die. On CNN.com, we asked you, which topic would you like us to tackle on House Call? You voted for cervical cancer. We turn now to Judy Fortin with more on battling this disease. Millions of women head to the OBGYN each year for their annual pap test, but Allison Hicks's doctor had some bad news for her. Allison, I can, I can tell you this is cancer. Um, I can see tumors all over your cervix. Allison's cancer was one that affects more than 11,000 American women every year. It was so advanced her doctor had to perform a radical hysterectomy, a surgery removing her reproductive organs. I was thinking I'm 29 years old and I've had a hysterectomy and who is there to talk to? I'm going through menopause, I'm having hot flashes, I have to take estrogen therapy. I'm in mourning of losing the ability to be a birth mother, which has been a dream my whole life. Cervical cancer is often caused by the sexually transmitted human papillomavirus, or HPV. HPV can cause normal cells in the lining of the cervix to gradually develop changes that eventually lead to cervical cancer, a diagnosis that impacts women differently as they age. For younger women, fertility may be an issue. If they haven't had children, trying to preserve that ability is going to be very um, important to them, and they may choose more conservative options. Women in their 30s and young women in early stages of cancer may opt for more conservative treatments, such as radiation or less invasive surgery. For women moving beyond their reproductive years, doctors say the decision may be more clear. I think for women that are older, hysterectomy becomes an easier decision. It may be easier to make that decision if you're done having your children and you're already in menopause. According to the American Cancer Society, half of all new cervical cancer cases each year occur in women between ages 35 and 55. So getting checked early is critical. Prevention at every age is going to be early detection and um, finding the precancerous changes. And the best way to do that is going to be with a pap smear. A lesson Allison now gladly shares with other women through her foundation, freepap.org. Surviving starts with knowing. The only way to beat this cancer is to know about it and not get it. Judy Fortin, CNN reporting. All right, thanks, Judy. Keep in mind, cervical cancer can be prevented by taking some simple steps. First of all, educate yourself. HPV, a sexually transmitted virus, causes most cervical cancers, so use protection. Early detection, of course, is critical. A pap smear can detect 90% of most cervical cancers. And then there's the vaccine. Girls and women ages 11 to 26 should consider the Gardasil vaccine to avoid contracting HPV. Gardasil is most effective before a woman is sexually active and can prevent up to 70% of cervical cancers. Now, I traveled around the country this week.